Hello, my name is Scott Spencer. I'm standing in the luxurious Bardwell and McAllister warehouse. And this is actually where we have used motion picture equipment stored. So we're using this as a, a background to show you typically what was here when we got here. So the lighting that's making me look a little bit sick is a mercury vapor and I've hung it just from a, a high roller stand. Um, this is the type of light, either a mercury vapor, sodium vapor, metal halide, one of those types of lighting you're going to find in most of the warehouses across the country. They're, they've been using them for years, they put out a lot of light, color temperature is horrible, uh, energy usage is terrible, the bulbs don't last very long, and really, at this stage of the game, there's not many good reasons to use, be still using a light like this, especially now that we have the Hollywood Lights High Bay Light, which is an LED utilizing our COLH patented technology that is extremely efficient and puts out a quality of light that you're just not used to seeing in a warehouse environment. So this warehouse environment could also include your business. Any building that has a high enough ceiling and needs a light that broadcasts over a large area can utilize our high bay light. It's available, this particular light is 120 watts. Uh, we also have a 150 watt model for buildings that need more light and have a higher ceiling, ceiling or etc. Uh, this light is going to be used less than half the energy. It's also dimmable, so if your building is moving to a smart system, this light is compatible, meaning you could hang this with the smart system installed this light will dim automatically during the day when the sun's bright. As the sun start, sunlight starts to diminish through your skylight, this light then becomes brighter. So obviously, none of this old technology will do that. Um, and even if you don't go as far as a smart system, if you just like the idea of having your lights on a dimmer because you like to be able to control light levels throughout the day or night, depending on your business, why not have everything on a dimmer and be able to control that? Uh, it makes a lot of sense. And color temperature wise, all of your products, if, if in fact you're in a warehouse uh, environment that, that you sell product, whether it could be furniture, or mattresses, you name it, everything's going to look better because it's going to be giving, it's, you're going to see the true color that it was designed to be. Unlike this horrible green or the sickly orange that sodium vapor gives or a variety of blue greens uh, you name it that this type of ballasted lighting delivers inefficiency short life you a lot of wasting tons of power and you can go on and on the reasons why it's time to run the hollywood lights high bay so i'm going to use my handy digital spectrometer manufactured by UPR Tech, a high quality light measuring device. And we're going to take some readings and then we're going to put our light up and show you the comparisons. So first off, let's take right here. So as I explained to you before, CRI, Color Rendering Index, is a means of labeling the quality of color. Um, the higher the CRI, the better the color rendering is. This light has an extreme, and by, oh, and by the way, this is a 250 watt light. Um, let me show you the CRI, which is a sickly 44. And as you can see, Lux is at 76. So output 
and color rendering are abysmal. Just for fun, let's measure the green level. As I mentioned to you before, green is something we try to eliminate from lighting. It makes food, clothing, automobiles, skin tones look sick. And not just uh, uh, not the way they're supposed to look, but they, if you're trying to actually match a color or show a color to a customer, you don't want to be under these types of artificial lighting because they're not going to see the color that they're going to see when they step outside. And they're going to be in a, <laughs> they're going to be in a state of shock. So here's our green level, plus 17 on the color temperature meter. That's not where you want to be. Now we're going to show you the Hollywood lights, high bay, LED, high bay light. Hi, so now we're going to show you the Hollywood lights, high bay, 120 watt LED light. So first off, we're going to use our handy dandy meter. Take a reading. So our CRI is at 92, which is off the charts compared to 44 from our mercury vapor. Our Lux is at 779, uh, which again is much higher than our other reading. And we're burning 120 watts. So here's some of the advantages. 92,000 hours of life. And, and when you're talking about a high bay light, that's very important because with the sodium vapors or the mercury vapors or the metal halides, you're looking at four to 500 hours. Uh, if, it's go if everything's going well, that means you have to get a very tall ladder or a forklift and replace that very expensive bulb uh, several times a year if you're in a warehouse that's burning 24 hours. So you're going to quickly start seeing savings when you go to LED and especially our LED. So now with the higher CRI, everything is going to look better, be brighter, and be much more welcoming if in fact you have customers. And if it's just a workplace, everybody's going to be able to do their job better. We also are going to be not having to go out to buy bulbs several times a year and heat, which is radiated by all the other types of lighting, is now virtually non-existent, at least coming off this light. So we're looking at a lot of ways that you can improve your environment with the Hollywood Lights High Bay Light. Let's also check green level real quick. Green level was plus 17 on our very sickly looking mercury vapor. We're now at plus one. That means we're just about zero green, which is exactly where you want to be. And you're going to appreciate a better looking, nicer to work in, nicer to show customers products, altogether a better environment.